All right, so let's try this example. The shaft in figure A consists of a 3-inch diameter aluminum segment that is rigidly joined to a 2-inch diameter steel segment. The ends of the shaft are attached to rigid supports. Calculate the maximum shear stress developed in each segment when the torque T is equal to 10 kips an uh, inch is applied. So use G is equal to 4 times 10 raised to 6 pounds per square inch for aluminum and G is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 pounds per square inch for uh, steel. Uh, if you have to analyze this uh, figure, uh, for example, our uh, point of view or orientation is from from left, uh, from right to left. All right. So this applied torque at the junction of the steel and aluminum is obviously this uh, counterclockwise. Therefore, it is a positive torque. That is 10 kips inch or the same as 10,000 pounds inch. So since the applied torque is counterclockwise, it is expected that the torque reactions at supports will be clockwise. So let's say this is the torque to be carried by the steel and uh, the torque to be carried by the aluminum. If we are to do summation of torques, let's say summation of torques equal to zero, uh, counterclockwise torques will be uh, positive. So the applied torque will be positive. Let's say this is 10,000 pounds inch uh, minus the torque to be carried by the steel shaft minus the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft is now equal to uh, zero. So we'll be having an equation, uh, the torque carried by the steel shaft plus the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft will be equal to 10,000 pounds inch. All right, so let this be our uh, first equation. All right, again, if you are to observe the junction, the junction of the steel shaft and the aluminum shaft, so at the junction of the aluminum, aluminum shaft and the uh, steel shaft, since they are rigidly uh, connected, it is expected that the rotation or the angle of twist of the steel shaft at that point or here at the junction is simply equal to the angle of twist of the aluminum at the junction. I uh, Last time, how do we compute for the angle of twist? That is the torque multiplied by the length uh, divided by the polar moment of inertia multiplied by the modulus of uh, rigidity. So let's have uh, this equation. This is uh, the torque to be carried by the steel shaft or the length of the steel shaft divided by, by the polar moment of inertia multiplied by the modulus of rigidity. That is for the steel is equal to the torque to be carried by the aluminum or the length of the aluminum shaft divided by the polar moment of inertia and the modulus of or rigidity of the aluminum. So let us now uh, substitute. Okay, we have... Let's say this is uh, the torque to be carried by the steel shaft. Okay, the length of the steel shaft is equal to, okay, we have 3 feet. This is uh, 3 feet divided by the polar moment of inertia. That is pi. Okay, the radius of the steel shaft is 2 inches, or that's the diameter. 2 inches okay, raised to 4. It will give us a unit of inches raised to 4 okay, divided by uh, 32. Then multiplied by the modulus of rigidity for steel. This is 12 times 10. I raised to 6 pounds per square inch, or the PSI. It's now equal to the torque to be carried by the aluminum. I, the length of the aluminum shaft is 6 feet. I, this is divided by the polar moment of inertia, that is pi. I multiplied by 3 raised to, I raised to 4. This is also inches raised to 4. I divided by 32. Modulus of rigidity for the aluminum is 4 times 10 I raised to 6 pounds per square inch. As you can see, I no need to uh, do unit analysis. All units on the left side of the equation are equal to the units on the right side. All units will be cancelled out. So let's have the equivalent of the torque to be carried by the steel in terms of the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft. So let's say that this, I we have 6 divided by 3 uh, raised to 4. I divided by, I we have 4 times 10 raised to 6. This multiplied by 12 times 10 raised to 6. Multiplied by 2 raised to 4. We are canceling pi over 32 since uh, both are present on the both sides of the equation. 
and then divided by R3. So we have the equivalent of the torque to be carried by the steel shaft in terms of the aluminum shaft. That is 1.1852. So 1.1852 multiplied by the torque at A8. Now if we are to uh, go back on our first equation, that is, okay, we have the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft plus the torque to be carried by the steel shaft is equal to 10,000 pounds inch. So we have, this is okay, T sub A plus equivalent of T sub S. Okay, we are to use this one. Okay, that is plus 1.1852 multiplied by okay, T sub A is now equal to okay, 10,000. So first thing to solve, okay, the torque to be carried by the aluminum uh, shaft. That is uh, 10,000 okay, divided by 1 plus 1.1852. That is equal to, okay, the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft is equal to 4,576 okay, point. Okay, 24 or 240 pounds inch. And the torque to be carried by the steel, all we have to do is okay, 10,000 less. is 10,000 less the torque to be carried by the aluminum shaft minus 4,576.24. So we have this value. Okay, we have 5,423.76. Okay, Zero okay, pounds inch. Okay, so since now we have now the uh, torque to be carried by each uh, shaft, we can now compute for the uh, shearing stress. Okay, last time, our shearing stresses. How do we compute for shearing stress caused by torque? That is the applied torque multiplied by the rho divided by the polar moment of inertia. But since we have solid shaft, we can have it as 16 multiplied by the torque okay, divided by pi, the diameter is to uh, three. So let's say uh, we have okay, the shearing stress for the steel is equal to this is a uh, 16. What is the torque carried by the steel? This is 5,423.76 uh, uh, pounds inch. Okay, this is divided by okay, pi. The diameter of the steel shaft is 2 inches. So this is 2 inches uh, raised to uh, three. Doing unit analysis, cancelling one of the uh, inch, it will give us a unit of inches squared in the, or on the denominator. This is the same as the pounds per square inch. We have uh, the shearing stress for the steel shaft. This is 16 multiplied by 5,423.76 uh, divided by pi uh, by 2 raised to uh, 3. Okay, so we have the shearing stress equal to 3,000 okay, 452 okay, 3,452.873 okay, psi or the pounds per square inch. Okay, this is for the steel. Okay, for the shearing stress for the aluminum is now equal to 16 times okay, the torque carried by the aluminum shaft is equal to 4,576.24. And this is divided by pi. The diameter of the aluminum shaft is okay, 3 inches. This is 3 raised to uh, 3. Okay, so we'll be having the shearing stress for the aluminum shaft. This is 16 multiplied by 4,576.24. Uh, this is divided by pi. Pi multiplied by 3 raised to uh, 3. As we have a shearing stress equal to 863.207 uh, pounds per square inch. So these are uh, the shearing stress. Our shearing stresses for the uh, two segments. Alright, so this will be our uh, solution.